All right, so today we're gonna to be working on some succulent bonsai. So let's go inside and do this. All right, so today we have this jade bonsai, which I have owned since about January of last year. So last year I bought it at Mosaic Home and Garden in the Lehigh Valley. And I think since then I have pruned it three times, I think. I could be wrong, but I think I've pruned it at least at least two times. You can see from some of those prunes that there's a decent scar on the bottom here that is actually healing over pretty nicely. And I feel like eventually it'll just completely heal over just fine. And the soil this is in is still the same soil that I used last year from the Bonsai Supply. They make amazing soil. I highly recommend it. But what I want to do today is I'm going to keep this soil in there. I'm just going to do a little bit of a prune on it today, style it up a little bit, and make some minor adjustments on it. So it's actually in pretty decent shape. So there's not a whole lot I have to do to this, but I do feel like it does need a little bit of work. So let's do this. All right, so the first thing that jumps out at me on this tree is this large branch right here. I feel like it is kind of pushing the tree over to the one side a little bit. And I think I need to course correct that because it's really favoring this side over here. Um, so I just got to figure out where I want to cut it back at, at what point I want to cut it back at. I feel like I want to snip it somewhere around here. So the trunk comes up and then it splits off into two right here. And then it comes over here and then splits off into two right here. So I'm thinking maybe right here to kind of match these two here. Let's do that. Let's do it right here. And I'm just going to cut it right in between uh, these sections here to leave room for dieback. All right. So yeah, that frees that up right there. I think that looks a lot better, a little bit more unified. And that'll make a nice little cutting. So we'll let that dry for a few days and then we'll put that in some soil. One thing I see right here, uh, let me just bump in a little closer. So we have these two little buds right there. And I think I actually just want to scratch those off because, oops, I'm sorry. Uh, because what I want the, the tree to do, what I want the plant to do is to uh, take these two leaves here and kind of come out this way and branch out in this direction because let me pull back because by doing that i now allow these two to potentially go out in this direction so i can uh, branch out a little bit more and i don't really want any branches coming in this direction i don't want any inverse branches in there so all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to clip off some of these leaves to allow more light into the center of the plant here so that we'll get a little bit more even distribution of light so let's do that. Now I'm not cutting directly to the point right there. I'm just cutting a little bit higher up so that it leaves room for dieback. All right, I think that'll do for now. So the next thing I wanna do is uh, this branch right here, it divides into two and then this extends up a little, a little bit too high for me. I see this little um, leaf here that is gonna be coming in this direction. So I think I wanna snip that back right there so that the tree will, so that the plant will continue to move out this direction. 
this where I just uh, trimmed back not too long ago, I think I want to trim this one back to these leaves here so that the direction of the branches could potentially go this way. So I'm going to cut that back here. So this one's growing a little long here. And I would like for this to come out. I would like for this branch to come out this way a little bit more. So I see that these previous petals or leaves go out this way and that way. So if I were to guess, maybe the next ones below would go that way. So I'm just going to take a shot and snip these back here. So on this branch here, this one comes up and then we have two branches coming out in the same direction. Now, I think I actually want to trim this one down a little bit lower. The only thing I'm looking at it now, though, is the both of these branches come and grow in towards the tree. And I don't think I want that. I may just do a hard cut and just bring it down to around here just to see or even here just to see what happens. I would like something to fill out this area a little bit more and even down a little bit lower around here. So I might just take a shot and see about cutting this down to like right here even. Yeah, let's uh let's do that. Let's take it back to right here and in, in hopes that maybe we'll be able to get some new blood, <laughs> new branches coming in here and potentially get us in a good direction over down in this area. So let's do this. There we go. So on this one right here, I kind of like how this one could potentially start branching out in this direction. And I don't necessarily like this one branching out that direction. So I will, oops, I just knocked something off. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, either way, I am going to uh, cut this one back over here to get rid of that one. And then there's a little bit of growth here that I'm just gonna scratch off. And in hopes that this will continue growing out in this direction. Now, looking at this section here, it looks like there is a, a cut point that I cut a while ago and we have three different branches coming out at one point. I don't necessarily need to have this, this branch right here, this one. So I think I'm going to cut that back because that's coming in towards the tree. And I think I'm going to cut this little leaf off. Now, as I'm looking at this section here, it's uh, a little bit taller than I think I would actually like it to be. I feel like I want to cut it back to this section here, even though we do have branching up here. I feel like I want to sacrifice some of that ramification to have a little bit better structure. So I think I'm going to cut it back to right here. Big decisions we're making today, big decisions. Now this little leaf here, I think I want to take off because it's coming in towards the inside of the tree plant is not tree this is a plant it's a succulent this i think i want to cut back a little bit i think i'm going to cut it back to here because it's a little bit too long yeah i think that's going to do it for today uh it's got a decent trim and i think it'll be in better shape because of it it's uh not quite as pretty as it was before but i think for the future, it'll it'll benefit from this little prune. And if you can see all right here, here's the bits that we took off today. So any of these, I'll see about propagating into new little bonsai trees in the future. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is one of my faves. So I am looking forward to seeing how this is going to progress in the future. I will probably take this outside just on my porch and so it doesn't get a lot of rain. So yeah, I think that's it for today on this succulent. So uh, 
we'll uh, watch this one carefully and uh, get some future updates in a couple months. So, as always, thanks for watching.